Hello students. Today we will see the next topic in the chapter thermogrammetry. In the previous uh, lecture, we will discuss about the some of the applications such as uh, uh, decomposition of the polymer, then uh, analysis of uh, alkaline or oxalates. So today we will see the some of the other applications so that uh, polymer blends, then soils, then oxidation studies. Then we have seen that uh, reduction studies and then we'll see about the drugs, analysis of drugs or application in the field of the drugs. Let us see one by the first one is the polymer blends. So the uh, since the decomposition uh, profile of the polymer are characteristic, so some polymer blends may be analyzed by using the thermogrammetry technique. So the figure one uh, shows that the TGA of Ethylene vinyl acetate TBA is it is one of the polymer blend. Blend means there is a mixing of the two ones. So two polymer that is the ethylene and vinyl. These two polymer uh, mix that it's a ethylene vinyl acetate uh, uh, copolymer whenever heated uh, at higher temperature with the temperature uh, rate of the 20 Kelvin per minute in the nitrogen atmosphere. So there is a first loss may be shown to the ethanoic acid that is the acetic acid which is present in the particular sample from the vinyl acetate while the second shows the decomposition of residual material so polymers containing additives especially fillers like calcium carbonate and fire retardants such as aluminum hydroxide are often studied by using tg so the decomposition stages may be altered but the residue at higher temperature is characteristics of the filler. For example, calcium carbonate shows the normal decomposition to the calcium oxide around 800 degrees Celsius and aluminum hydroxide. Figure 2 shows one example of this. So the stages of the decomposition are well defined and start in the nitrogen atmosphere with the loss of volatile oil component below 200 degrees Celsius followed by the degradation of the main polymer component. So this is the figure 2. In this uh, figure 2, the residue at 600 degrees Celsius is stable up to stable in the nitrogen atmosphere but switching to air and forming a carbon black. Filler is oxidized away and leaving the small ash content. So we thus have four analyze, analyses performed in one TG run. Okay. So it should be noted that the decomposition product of the polymer are often very flammable and care must be taken to remove them before introducing the air. So there is a, this is the, uh, this is about 17% loss and then this is about 9.5% of loss. So there is a total 28%, 20, uh, 28% of total mass loss is occurred. So, uh, uh, at the particular bottom. Then next one is the soil. So by using uh, thermogrammetry, how we have to analyze the soil. So the various composition of the soil is complex and varies with the geological and biological nature of the area, the level from which the soil was collected and the human and the biological interaction that takes place with that particular soil and accordingly we can analyze the soil. So after soil samples have been collected, they should be stored under the reproducible conditions. That is, for example, constant relative humidity for one week should be maintained so that we can get a proper analysis. So these are generally three stages of soil decomposition on heating. So the first one, uh, loss of hygroscopic moisture and simple volatiles produced from the organic compounds between room temperatures and 150 degree Celsius. Then uh, second one, whenever we have ignited uh, the particular sample, so the ignition of the organic matter starts at 250 degree Celsius and completed by 550 degree Celsius. So the organic matter may be determined by the mass loss between these two temperature ranges. Means what first of all we have to remove the moisture content up to 250 degree Celsius. After 250 to 550 degree Celsius, there is a loss of organic matter. Okay. And uh, whenever we have heated the particular uh, sample in this range, 
there is a complete decomposition of the organic matter is going to be takes place so uh, the largest interference comes from the clay minerals but provided the clay content is less than about 40% the loss of 500 degrees celsius is very good guide to the organic matter so around 500 there is almost all organic matter is lost and accordingly we can say that the particular soil content how much amount of organic content so the alternative is to remove the organics by wet oxidation using hydrogen peroxide and then run the residue so uh, in another manner also we have to remove the particular organic matter by simply oxidation with the hydrogen peroxide so then a third uh, way is that hydrated minerals such as aluminum and iron oxide and mica and gypsum may complicates the matter but high temperature decomposition can show the content of minerals such as carbonic so these are the three different ways by which we can have the analysis of the soil then the next one is the oxidation study so beside the oxidation of organic matter uh, the studies have been made of oxidation of the metals and alloys and of compound using the thermogrammet so in this instance it is often useful to run the sample isothermally means what we have to run the sample at constant temperature so figure 3 which shows that the oxidation of metallic copper in air at 800 degree celsius so we have to kept a temperature uh, stable up to 800 degree celsius and say that what is the uh, how uh, there is a oxidation is going to take place or not so the curve is unusual in showing the weight gain where this is observed in other traces it often indicates the metal oxidation so the oxidation of copper forms a cupric oxide first then the shape of the curve may be fitted to the parabolic law governing the kinetics of the metal oxidation and then uh, accordingly we can say that there is a oxidation of copper is going to be takes place then the next one is the reduction studies so the preparation of the catalyst often involves a reduction step so look at this particular thermo uh, gram in that what happened there is a uh, different stages in the first stage there is a dehydration of the metal salt is going to be takes place then in the next stage there is a decomposition of metal salts is going to be takes place then in the last stage there is a reduction of metal oxide is going to be takes place so these are the three different stages out of these three two stages involves the air atmosphere and after that there is a hydrogen atmosphere is there and hence due to presence of hydrogen atmosphere there is a reduction of metal oxide is going to be takes place so the preparation of the catalyst often involves the reduction step so the use of uh, tg thermogrammetric apparatus and uh, of special temperature program reduction apparatus that is a tpr which measures continuously the consumption of the hydrogen during the reduction process and has given much useful data on catalyst preparation and allowed the detection of the overlapping reactions and the study of the kinetics the atmosphere may be changed during the run so that product is reduced so that here look at the example here we have see that the, there is a air atmosphere is com completely uh, block whenever the reduction of metal is going to be start okay so this is shown in the figure 4 then in the usual tg experiment the analyst sets a constant heating rate and measures the temperature and the mass as dependent variable as a function of time so if several reaction occurs it is important that we try to resolve them so of course the temperature uh, of course the atmospheric gases the instrumental uh, conditions and the nature of the sample will affect plus the kinetics of the reaction occurring will affect the extent to which the reaction may overlap however these conditions cause 
problems either of a sensitivity or of a very long time needed for the experiment perhaps several hours if isothermal or at a very slow heating rate whenever we have performed <coughs> it will also affect the reduction study another method of improving the resolution is to control the rate of the reaction okay so this is all about the reduction studies okay so this is all about the chapter thermogrammetry in the next uh, lecture we will discuss about the next chapter that is a uh, dsc that is a differential scanning colorimetry and differential uh, thermal analysis okay so we will meet on the next lecture thank you